Hey there, Scorpio. This is Chronic Joy Tarot, and we are here to do your current soul guidance for Scorpio Sun Moon Rising. Um, and like I always like to say, anybody who's drawn to this video, please, this message is definitely for you as well. We are um, going to read from the Zen Tarot deck as usual, and the oracle card that I've chosen for you comes from a deck called the Sacred Path Oracle, and it is, um, here, hold on, I'm going to pull one more card here for you guys, actually two more. The Sacred Path Oracle, it's an older um, deck that I've had for a while, and I think it was published in, in 1990, and I love it. It's based on the teachings and wisdom of Native American traditions. And the card that I pulled for you at this time, Scorp, is Smoke Signals. So this is talking about how you are, what the vibration that you're sending to spirit, to the universe, to the higher power, to the creator, whatever you want to call your higher power, God, the divine, you are sending clear messages through your thoughts, your words, and your actions um, as far as, you know, who you are, what your desires are, and what your intent is. So it's very important that you align yourself within first, you know, get, in, get aligned to be clear on your intentions. Make sure those signals that you're sending are clear and precise so that you can um, call on the support of your higher power. Without clear intent, life is muddled. It's sort of you're, you know, kind of in, in the fog and not moving as um, with as much sort of a streamlined energy as you could be as far as moving towards your goals, towards your wishes and dreams, um, you know, in your connections with others, in your connection to self, those, those scenarios are muddled and clouded. So we're here to get yourself some clear intention, whatever it would be. If it's, you know, I want to make a career change or I want to in, um, improve on a relationship it's, there's many ways that your intent comes through, starting with your thoughts and making sure those are aligned with your words and your actions, okay? So we're going to use the tree spread here. Starting point is this bottom branch. We take the trunk to transform and move to a higher, um, exist a higher awareness. And let's see where we are here. Okay, Scort, your starting point. Yeah, look at that. Thunderbolt. So when we're talking in terms of your clear intentions and the ways that you want to show up in your life and the, the um, desires that you want to bring forth and manifest into your existence, first, we must shed those things that are not supporting us, those things that are not aligned with our intentions. Okay, so this is shed, shed unwanted thoughts. Um, maybe some physical connections, people that you have around you that are uh, representing, you know, a diversion from your own true alignment. Um, behaviors that you have, you know, the, the first thing that, that must be done to clear, to make, to set your clear intention is to shed those things that aren't serving you anymore. Now, this doesn't mean if you have, you know, a person in your life that is, you know, I don't know, just has a totally different set of intentions, a different uh, outlook than you. It doesn't mean you cut them out. It just means you shed your, your sort of, the way that you receive them. Do you know what I mean? Let me, let me figure this out. So if you, what am I hearing? Yes, yeah, so a person with ways and thoughts and words that aren't in alignment with yours, 
does not have to be cut from your life. You know, this could be a child or a partner or a parent. They don't have to be cut from your life, but what you do need to do is sort of shield your own energy so that you don't absorb this conflicting energy that is not in alignment with your personal energy. We can have people in our lives that are the opposite of us and that don't live with the same intent that we do and that use different methods in order to get, you know, their get going on their own path. We can have these people in our lives and thrive. First of all, they provide contrast, so they help you discover what you don't want, but also it is there's just more to be gained from the variety and the uh the certainty that you have in your own self and then also adding in others that aren't in alignment with that that just helps you to secure your certainty <clears throat> if you're focused on that if you're focused on yeah i have this person in my life but those thoughts that they think don't align with mine i just don't have to let them go into deeply and absorb into my energy too much let them be as they are you know in their beauty and in their life path and still be beside me as i'm in mine i hope this is making sense i'm very clear on what i'm trying to say sometimes the words don't come out as fast as the messages that i'm receiving <clears throat> internally uh, to support this, um, you know, this act or this need to shed those things that no longer serve you, you're supported by the feeling of trust. Yeah. So sometimes we have maybe, um, like say this is a, an authority figure, like a teacher or a parent or a boss that doesn't have the same personal now in in the boss scenario i'm not talking about work practices maybe maybe um thoughts and ideas on certain projects but there are definitely structured rules in the work environment um but perhaps there's somebody in your life that's an authority figure that thinks very differently than you do your desire to sort of shed their presence from your life or their, let's see, their energy being absorbed into yours, your desire to sort of shield yourself from that does not mean you have to cut them off. And if you just trust right within, you trust that what is right for you is right for you and you proceed that way, the others around you, they're not going to they're not going to go away. They're not going to you're not going to lose anything you're only going to gain more clarity for yourself right so having that sense of trust that you step firmly into your own alignment uh, and that's the and trusting that that's the best way excuse me hold on <coughs> sorry I have a frog in my throat today trusting that that's the best way to proceed this is this is your starting point here in 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 gaining your clear intention and then in your external world, this results in your full, firm, clear existence in the universe. Your place in the universe is established <clears throat> just by knowing your intention, sticking with it, not taking on too many other opinions and attitudes and the needs of others as far as setting your clear intentions goes. Um, just being real firm and protected in your own sort of energetic bubble um, when it comes to setting your clear intentions for your life. This could be like a material world goal that you have. Um, it could be, you know, it could be a, a spiritual goal, a personal goal within you, just maybe some habits that you have that you want to shed. There are many ways to... Um, you know, many aspects of yourself that, that want to set intention, right? And so whatever this means for you, the key is, is to shed the things that no longer serve you, the actions, the thoughts, and the words, and then know that that is making your alignment clearer. 
Okay, moving forward and getting to your next steps. Look at that. If you allow for it, your soul can have a rebirthing of sorts, a move to that next level. Your, your spiritual um, ascension is, it's always, it's ongoing, always. We're, you know, as you've heard many times, we're spiritual beings in human form. That spirituality is always there, always reaching, always wanting to ascend to the next level, to elevate, to understand more, to connect more universally with others. And just by getting your intentions clear, you'll experience that in a small or big way. But the, the growth is unstoppable if, if you're aligned, okay? And then moving forward, next steps, yeah. Perfect, I like it. So moving forward, you're being asked to, to go easy on yourself to yes, set your intentions, be clear about it, but then know that others may see a shift in you. Others may like say this is one of these people that you're needing to sort of shield a little bit from because maybe their energy is too pervasive and your um, it, it makes your clarity clouded, you know, it clouds your, your vision. This is, this projections card is other people's wants and desires projected onto you and vice versa your own intent as long as you have your own intent clear it doesn't need to involve anyone else you don't need to say this is the way i want to do it and you have to get on board with me right that's not what what you know be easy be easy about it get your intention set and then drop it right just know what your alignment is within you you're gaining a real strong sense of connectedness with others you're starting to really realize and imagine in your meditations or in your prayers or in your quiet moments, you're starting to really start to see that thread that connects us all, that oneness, that universal sort of um, connectedness that we all share, no matter where we are, no matter if we are in human form or spirit form, if we are in one part of the planet from one to another, um, lifestyles, uh, you know, Anything that maybe you used to feel separated you from others, you're realizing doesn't it on the surface it may look like that, but underneath and within and spiritually we are all connected. And you're you're getting a growing sense of that from the inside. You're getting that within you, which is really helping to ease this whole journey, ease up the entire process of yeah, I, I've always listened to my mother and I've always heard her say, you know, I'm going to make up something very simple. I've always heard my mother say, you know, I don't know, drinking coffee is bad for you. But for me, when I have a little bit of caffeine in the morning, it helps me stay focused. It helps me feel clear. I don't have to, you know, overload it. But a little bit of coffee, I feel, is really good for me, for my system, for my, you know, whatever. And so, and that's, of course, very trivial, but it's just the process that I'm trying to describe. And my mother doesn't believe in it, but I can believe in it and still be okay and still love my mother and my mother will love me. It's a matter of just being certain of what's right for you and then living that and not worrying about conflict with others or what others expect of you or trying to live up to somebody else's model of what's right, but just simply living and keeping those connections open and showing that mutual respect for the other who may have an idea different than yours. And in the long run, what this will provide for you in your daily life is that sort of more um, universal outlook on the, on the path of your life. Not that oh, I'm coming up against somebody that doesn't believe in the same thing as I do. And so that is, that's just a, you know, monumental issue and I'm stuck in it. And this is just, how could they not see things the way I do? You know, that, none of that really has to happen. If you look at the bigger picture of your entire journey, it is a pretty much never ending journey, your life, right? You're, you're always somewhere on your path. And there is always more path ahead, 
right? This is, whether it's in the physical world or not, there is always more to be considered. And if you pull back and look at that big picture of how, just how really endless your journey is, and that the only focus should be is on what's right for you in this moment because then that creates the next moment which will be right for you and then it creates the next right you could be way down here in the valley stuck inside the fog but you know if you set your intention clear and you're in alignment you know mind body soul then your next step may bring you to the peak of the mountain and then you could see more clearly and then you might go down into the forest for a little bit and enjoy it. what I'm what I'm meaning is there's always more journey to be had. And as long as you're in alignment throughout that, in, in this very moment, your next moment and the next moment and so forth will be in alignment with your intent as well. So it starts within. It just all starts with, with what's within you. <clears throat> and then the last two cards, look at that, how they, how they conflict. So we've got a mind-based card, the guilt card, which tells me right now that in this level here, if you're not living up to the expectations of others, truly it means you're defining your intent better, you're, you're more clear on what's right for you, but in your physical world, in your reality, it might create some feelings of guilt. I should be listening to them, they know better, they know, but nobody knows better for you than you, right? So it's okay, these little, tricks of the mind that make us feel um, less than because of decisions we make that may conflict with others. They're just tricks. They're tricks. They're tricks that our mind plays on us. Um, you know, look at that, the claws just digging at her head and her thoughts and how, how sorrowful she is, right? But then look what's ahead. You know, th that dark cloud and that feeling of guilt, it's kind of manufactured within your own head, within your own mind. Because look what comes with a clear intention. You master your own awareness. You master your consciousness. The crown chakra there is lit up. This is a, the highest level of awareness. The, you know, this is really reaching toward enlightenment. And that's what you're working on. That's where your clear intentions will lead. Okay? You might have feelings of, of uncertainty and doubt and maybe some guilt but that's okay because in general as the traveling card says you're heading in the right direction you're heading toward that sunlight you're heading toward that you know that crown that's that energy that comes from above and your you know your journey is yours and just as long as you are aligned with your intention it doesn't really matter how long it takes to achieve what you want it doesn't matter you know your intention being clear will help it come about, okay? I hope this made sense for some of you. There were so many messages I was getting and I was trying to sort of narrow it down to one um, sort of track, uh, but I think you generally get it. I, I hope you do. Um, I, yeah, I think that's it. Set, be clear on what you want mind body soul in alignment and watch how everything sort of falls away watch for that growth that real growth of kind of not even needing to take action as long as your alignment's there um until a certain point do you know what i mean just make sure you have crystal clear intent okay scorp i hope this made sense i feel um i only gave you like a portion of what was coming through but yeah, I think we I think we have a good message here. Okay. All right. I wanted to let you guys know I'm opening up for um, personal readings on a donation base um, basis instead of having a price structure. I'm kind of giving up on that because I don't feel I'm just in a place right now where I don't feel right about charging to saying, you know, here's my advice. Here's my gift. Here's the guidance. And then now pay me. So I feel, you know, and I don't want to set a certain amount. So I want to let you know, if you just email me, the email's on my channel there on this video. Um, we could set up a, a reading and then it's basically donation-based. Whatever you feel you can pay, whatever you feel 
it's worth whatever whatever it's not I'm not worried about the money as much as sharing the message okay all right you guys I love you and until next time